Place, a hilltop in New Jersey. The setting, giant antennas like monstrous eyes and ears, straining, watching, waiting. In 1960, the Echo Satellite Project was going to get started. The Echo Satellite Project was just a giant mylar balloon in orbit. That balloon will soon be hurtling across the sky a thousand miles high over North America. Bell Labs built these antennas here on Crawford Hill to send radio waves up into space, bounce them off a satellite, and then receive them on the ground and turn them back into useful telephone signals. Bob Wilson and Arno Penzias, who worked here at Bell Labs, were wondering, well, if we just point an antenna up into the sky, how much radio noise is there? I come from a big city. I come from New York, where people uh, don't mince words very much. Uh, Bob, on the other hand, is a Texan. I guess anybody who's seen a John Wayne movie knows what that means. So do you want to tell us about the discovery? Well, <clears throat> Arno and I set out to make the best measuring system we could to go with this antenna. We got it all together and fired it up and found more noise coming out of the antenna than we expected. There's this uniform noise that seems to be coming from everywhere. They say, okay, well, we better check this. <laughs> they discovered pigeons. These pigeons left a sticky deposit, and they were concerned that that might lead to radio noise. We actually got to have a heart trap and put it right here and caught the pigeons and shipped them to a pigeon fancier. The guy took a look at them and said, these are junk pigeons, and let them go. <laughs> so it wasn't long before the pigeons were back. So in the end, our technician brought in his shotgun. <laughs> and in the interest of science, the pigeons were dispatched. We cleaned the pigeon poop out of the horn. It didn't make much difference. This was a big disappointment, of course. There's something wrong with this antenna. We uh, did a few other measurements and we're really scratching our head. We believed in physics. What's coming out has to be coming from somewhere. And then a fellow named Bernie Burke said, well, call up Bob Dickey at Princeton. Bob Dickey was a very good physicist. And he was thinking about an oscillating universe where you have a big bang and then a big crunch. And he realized that all the entropy generated during the expansion would show up as heat. He immediately understood that this antenna here had detected the radiation left over from the universe was very hot and dense, you know, the Big Bang. Dickie put down the phone, said, boys, we've been scooped. Their discovery confirmed the Big Bang theory of the explosive origins of the universe. This is where the noise from the sky and the rest of the universe when it was just getting started, was first heard and recognized on Earth. 